2013, Army's Kelsey Minato became the first freshman in Patriot League history to be named the league's player and rookie of the year. Now in her sophomore season, Minato has picked up right where she left off, leading the league in scoring with 20.1 points per game. Minato is coming off a huge opening week in the league, scoring 21 points in Thursday's win over Lafayette and a career-high 29 points in an overtime win at Loyola on Sunday. And with those numbers, it was easy to give the Rock and Refuel Performance of the Week to Kelsey Minato. She joins us now via Skype on the Patriot League Network. Hi Kelsey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. So first of all, your team had to rally back to win in overtime at Loyola on Sunday, and you played a big part in the comeback victory. How big was it to come out on top after a battle like that? Yeah, it was, I mean, the first half, uh, we just came out really flat, um, not ready to play, nothing going our way. And um, we were down by 10 at halftime, and we just knew that we needed to come out in the second half with a lot more energy, a lot more focus, more motivation. Um, we need to do better uh, executing our sets, uh, better defense, rebounding, just overall better effort in the second half. And once we did that, we found ourselves to be having success and then eventually tying it uh, and then going into overtime where we continued that sort of energy and motivation and came out the win, which was, we were lucky to come out that win. Um, but it was a good experience for us to kind of be down by 10 and then claw our way back to win. So it was a good experience, but it's not a situation we want to find ourselves in, in any more games. You've had such a great start to your career at Army. What's it been like to have this kind of success at West Point? I guess it's kind of nice. Um, here at West Point, you're at a place where you're surrounded by a thousand, a couple thousand other overachievers who strive to be successful every day. So, I mean, for me, I guess if I can sort of stand out from that uh, kind of crowd, I guess it's kind of cool. But it's been a really fun experience so far. And uh, every day it's, it's a new challenge and I really enjoy being here. So. You've gone to the free throw line 78 times, and with 73 made shots, you lead the league with a 93.6 shooting percentage at the stripe. Talk a little bit about your style of play and how it helps you get to the line more than anyone else in the league. Um, well, obviously, I'm not the most biggest, uh, strongest, fastest person out there. So it's kind of forced me to think of other ways to score and get to the basket. And it's helped me become a more crafty and creative player. Um, because I know that it, I'm not going to get shots up just by overpowering someone. I have to be smarter, um, read the defense better, and just kind of outsmart them and be one step ahead. So, I mean, that, that's something that I try and work on a lot and something I think about a lot when I'm playing. Um, so I, it's something I'm getting better at. But for me, it's just how can I outsmart the defender and try and get to the basket or get a shot up. So... And when you are at the foul line, what are you thinking about when you're preparing to take your shot? Um, don't miss. Um, but um, I have a, I do the same routine. Uh, it's something that I practice a lot. Uh, I try and do a lot of free throws during practice, after practice. Um, but for me, it's just a chance for me to catch my breath, uh, refocus, um, just take my time and just focus on my routine and uh, shooting the ball and shooting it how I know how to shoot. And it's it's also an opportunity if I'm not maybe hitting my shots from the outside. It's an opportunity for me to get to the line, see the ball go in the hoop so I can have a little more restored confidence. And then maybe on the next shot, I make it because just because I saw the basket go in the hoop. There's a long history of military service in your family. What's it mean to you to be carrying on that tradition? It's a huge honor. Um, military stories about the army um, have always been a, a huge staple at family gatherings. Um, it's something that I grew up my grandfather telling me about, uh, my uncles, aunts. So it's something that has always been a big part of my life. Um, I have a lot of my grandfather's uh, uniform items, uh, certificates, stuff like that out, hanging up in my house and in my room. So it was something that I always was always around in my life. and. Um, when West Point first started recruiting me, it was it was pretty neat for me because serving in the military might I probably never really thought of it, but once they started recruiting me, I started to do a lot of research, talk to my family, and um, I, 
it was pretty evident right away that this is where I wanted to be and where I felt I belonged. And once I came to visit, um, everything just felt right. And I knew right away that this is where I wanted to be. And um, so far, it's been a really great decision. Now, being a Southern California native, I have to know, how are you handling a balmy day like this with negative degree wind chills? It's a struggle. <laughs> I try and stay inside as much as possible because um, it's just really painful to go outside. But, I mean, I just try and put on a lot of layers. But with the uniform shear, sometimes you don't get to. Um, but I try and just walk fast. Sometimes I even run, which is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> sometimes I run to class. But, um, yeah, I'm surviving, so. Well, Kelsey, thank you so much for your time. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. I appreciate it.